Hey Rockers, we have here Derry Green from Sepultura. So, man, how are you today? Are you feeling uh, good? Dobrze, dobrze. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm fantastic, thank you. It's fantastic, thank, thank you. you. Well, first question I would like to know, it's maybe a little bit personal, but okay. do you get nervous before gig? No. No, you're not? I never get nervous anymore. I get really uh, excited, oh, okay. uh, very uh, enthusiastic, you know, I keep thinking it over and over in my mind how much enjoyment it's going to be. So I try to think very positively and um, for me it's exciting, you know, it's the reason that I flew hundreds and hundreds of miles away from family and friends to, to be on that stage for that short period of time. Yeah, I understand. That yeah. is really beautiful. Man. Yeah. So, and do you remember the last time? When you were like nervous, it was like in summer primary school. Actually, I, I remember <laughs> being nervous when we started to play again after two years of being okay. locked down and the whole everything happening with COVID. And the first show that we had was in Brazil after oh, not yeah. playing for almost two years. So I was oh, a little so. bit nervous then, but it faded away from the first song. Yeah, yeah always good. gone after that. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay, next question. Uh, me as a guitarist, mm -hmm. I would like to do a little warm up or a little warm up exercise before I'm hitting the stage. But so of course. I would like to ask you if you do something with your voice or do you have some kind of ritual that gets you in the right mindset? Mm, absolutely. I have to do vocal exercises before and after the okay. show. So uh, it's a series of exercises, it varies, um, but I just definitely need to have that. that uh, I have to have this warm up before and after and no alcohol um, ever before and, and things like that. Um, I have to stay away from. But yeah, it's it's very important to do that to warm up the voice and to get it prepped for the show. Um, and I like to do warm downs, they're called, after downs, uh, playing. Okay. So it's a series that I started from the very beginning and it's a way of keeping my voice the entire tour. Okay. It's cool. Maybe most people don't know about it, but I heard it too that it's really important to set down your voice and do a little exercise about it. So, hey guys, yeah, maybe that's the secret to be exercise. the best. Yeah, it's like a muscle. You know, you have to train it and um, you have to stretch it, and, and it, so it, it definitely has worked for me for over 20 years. And um, yeah, it's necessary. Can you show us what are doing? Me 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 me. Ba 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 ba. And some favorite eat like pizza 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 pizza. <laughs> uh, actually, when I had a vocal coach, uh, Ron Lewis, um, what's yeah, and uh, he was actually um, the vocal coach for for uh, James Hetfield. Okay. And, and so yeah, I got to hear James's tape, and he had to repeat the word monkey, 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 monkey. Very hard to do fast and up and down. So monkey, 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 monkey. Okay, that's very interesting. Yeah, it's interesting and it's embarrassing, but it's necessary. I don't think so. You know, in order to be able to do the deep stuff. Well, I must say, when I saw you, you walked down here to the main stage and it was like in the hood and it was like... Yeah, it was, I was morning, like, okay, I haven't had I'm coffee scared right now. <laughs> I haven't had coffee, so it's just like, somebody is going to be in pain until I get my coffee. Okay. But now that I've had my kava... Kava, yeah! Yeah, nice. my kava, I'm very happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see right now. Well, yeah. Man, I must say that I am really glad that I haven't been uh, before you when you walked there. Yeah. And I just only saw when I was like, man. He looks terrified. Yeah. <laughs> I was really scared. I was yeah, really scared. It's okay, scared. I'm a peaceful scared. person. Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> I can say that from this person, from this <laughs> side. Okay, next question. Let's talk something, let's talk something about this event. So what can we expect from Sepultura today? Well, we have a very uh, incredible set list diving into the history of Sepultura. So we'll be playing a lot of new stuff and old stuff, a mixture. And it's exciting because we haven't been able to tour on the album Quadra, which is the latest album from Sepultura. So it's great that we're able to play that. Um, unfortunately, our guitarist Andreas Kisser is not with us. 
um, and we're dedicating the show to his wife who passed away recently, uh, Patricia. So this whole tour and all the shows are really dedicated to her. And, um, you know, we're sending all our love to Andreas and his family. And we have a guitarist that's filling in for Andreas, whose name is Jean Baton. Okay. And he's from Brazil, not from France. Mm -hmm. And uh, he plays in the band Project 46 and very heavy and brutal. And he learned all the songs in a day or two um, mm -hmm. that we're doing on the set list. So it should be very exciting, a lot of fun. Um, and we're looking forward to it. Some of our best shows are here in the Czech Republic, so it's exciting. And it's great to be here. It was such a journey for us to make it here, but it makes it worth it so much to be here with you all. Thank you for having us. Unfortunately, Andreas, our guitarist, cannot be with us. Andreas Kisser, he's in Brazil now with his family and to regret the passing of his wife, Patricia Kisser. So this entire set and this tour goes out to them. So give it up for the Kisser family! You said that you are going to play something new, something old, mm. and my friend uh, behind the camera really loves song in herself. So mm. I would like to ask you if we can explain that song, or should we let him wait and to be like a little surprise for him? It should be a surprise, but oh, okay. uh, uh, spoiler alert: uh, we're probably not playing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think he doesn't hear that, so <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. Nothing, man. It's okay. Okay, so and when we are talking about songs. Uh, so you are going to play something from Quadra, if I get it right? Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you are going to play because you are going to play here in Autumn, mm -hmm. and I heard that it will be the most the most song will be there presented. So it will be like this concert will be like only we, okay we are playing just the best one, or are we going to play more than just one song or two? Uh, we're gonna play more. I think when we come back for our headlining tour, we'll probably play at least six new songs um, they're really challenging to play um, a few months ago our drummer broke his leg so he's been recovering he still has a broken leg and he's playing um, some songs with his right leg which he broke and some songs with his left leg which he learned to play with so really? it's very challenging but he's young and he's uh, very focused and he's very talented so we're lucky that he's able to adapt to the situation yeah. and to it's play. Brilliant. Yeah. It's really brilliant. But um, there's certain songs, you know, that um, he still needs more time to recuperate to play. So the new songs are extremely challenging, I think, for everyone in the band. And also, Jun filling in, it wouldn't be fair for him to try to learn every new song that, <laughs> yeah. you know, we've been playing live. But he did learn, you know, the essential songs, like really great songs. Brilliant. And um, he's doing a wonderful job but when we come back we'll have a very complete set with Andreas with everyone hopefully feeling good and uh, yeah we can't wait okay that sounds like party like hell yes. we will see I will be there for sure man. Oh, yeah. I will be there I hope so man <laughs> I will wait for you don't yes. worry <laughs> okay so and when we are talking about the new songs or the new album mm -hmm. are you maybe you know the question but I'm mm -hmm. going to serve the next one but are you planning something new some new album or something? Ah, okay. Mm. Well, I think with this whole tour, 
we haven't had a chance to tour on Quadra, so it's oh, okay. our whole focus is on really um, doing this tour and promoting that and not going back in the studio anytime soon because we have the whole world now okay. to tour. We didn't tour 2019, a lot of festivals or anything. We didn't come to Europe because we were writing and preparing to come for 2020, which didn't happen for anybody. Mm -hmm. So now it's up to us to really focus on touring now. I would like to ask you, how does the songwriting looks like in Sepultura? Like, do you guys uh, get together or are you just sitting somewhere in uh, Europe or in the world mm -hmm. and just sending sending the stuff together and just somehow... Well, normally we do it the old-fashioned way of sitting in a studio and jamming songs or ideas and recording those ideas. On this last album, since I moved to Los Angeles um, and the other guys are in Brazil, we would have certain drum ideas that uh, Eloy would have our drummer and then Andreas our guitarist would put those together like with guitar riffs that he had those beats and then they would send it to me and then I would listen to it and then we would rehearse in the studio to come up with those ideas to elaborate to make those ideas grow and so it's 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 worked really well in that way of producing songs and creating ideas okay that's interesting yeah <laughs> yeah cool man okay and do you have any special place like where you like to write songs or like um, in the toilet or you go to I like the club? my bedroom you know okay, it's like it's it, I, I like to set up a kind of a board with a, a lot of ideas for songs okay and then elaborate on that so I wake up and I see the board and it's like oh I got an idea I'm gonna write on the card put it up on the board and then so each section that I'm thinking about a certain song that comes to mind it's always in my head and that really works well with me you know kind of like a vision board and you see it growing you know so that's really interesting yeah Okay, so do you prefer clubs or festivals? What do you like? For me, I, I love both. Um, playing clubs, uh, you're very close to the audience and this is really important. It's where we started, yeah. you know, and it brings you, you know, kind of back to earth, you know, as far as very humble. And um, it's a challenge to, to do those shows where people are right in front of you. And I like that. And, I love doing big shows because you have a massive audience. You're receiving that energy yeah. from a massive audience, which is not like any other feeling in the world. Um, you have a big stage that you can move around on, and I love that. So I, I think the mixture of both are great, being able to have big shows, which is awesome, and being able to do the small, intimate shows, you know? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> and when you talked about the big stages, do you prefer some, some, somehow, do you like, do you work out or do you do something to yeah. get fit, to get in shape? Absolutely. I think before the tour it's important for me, especially since I sing, to really open up my lungs. So I try to do as much exercise as far as biking, walking, hiking, um, things like that. And, and again, vocally warming up and training okay. uh, before tour. But the tour itself is a big workout, you know, being on stage, moving around. Um, you burn a lot of energy and calories being on yeah. stage. and. Um, I, I, I think it's it keeps you young, you know, <laughs> playing <Yeah>. shows <laughs> and, and doing this for so many years. At least I've felt that way and, um, you know, I feel very fortunate. But working out is extremely important, eating well. I'm a vegan for, okay. uh, I, I don't eat any meat 
or any animal products, dairy or anything like that. Mm. So I believe that gives me a lot of energy and strength as well. Okay. Yes. That's beautiful. <laughs> well, I can't believe that you're doing bicycle, cycling or these like aerobic, uh, this aero, aerobic exercise. Uh, exercise. Yeah. Because you know, you man, you <laughs> look massive, really. So I thought you would say like some heavy lifting or something. Not like heavy that. lifting because I don't want to get any bigger. You know, okay. I want to be heavier on stage. I mean, for me, it's great okay. to be light as possible, but lean yeah. muscle mass. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so okay, so let's go to the last question. Okay, that you may already know. <laughs> What comes to your mind when you hear Judas Priest, who are celebrating 50 years of existence? Oh my God, so many things come to mind, especially in my childhood, because I grew up listening to Judas Priest. Um, it's such an interesting career because they have so many diverse albums, and it was a big influence especially for Sepultura and it continues you know to this day so I have so much respect for that band and every aspect um, the first album Screaming for Vengeance is what I purchased as a young kid on cassette tape but then I started to listen to the older stuff and now my favorite album hands down is Sad Wings of Destiny and I, I love every aspect of that album from A to B Um, the vocal range of Rob Halford is phenomenal. Um, I love the guitar work that's going on in that album. Um, but I'm a massive fan. I'm glad to see them still playing, doing incredible shows, killer shows. Um, I've seen them in different formations with Ripper Owens, which is very good too. Um, he's a very incredible vocalist as well. And I, I just enjoy the history that they've had. You know, I really have a lot of respect for them. On the 22nd of October, Sepultura will be back in Czech Republic. I believe the only show in Czech Republic that will be playing, so I want to see every single one of you there. All right? <laughs>